They are award-winning images, icebergs and frozen vistas taken in cold, distant places of the globe. So you can bet Camille Seaman, fine art photographer, knows a thing or two about shooting in winter conditions. We asked her for some tips for amateur shutter bugs, especially why do snow picks often look 50 shades of gray instead of brilliant white? So this is a $64,000 question for, for Canadians who like to take pictures in the winter. How do you take a good picture in the snow when there's, when there's snow around you everywhere when it's all white? Quick, dirty, easy. If you have a really good point and shoot, you can put it on snow, uh, beach or snow mode in the camera. Like there is a setting for beach or snow. And what that does is it actually makes the snow white instead of gray or blue. If you don't have the beach or snow mode on your camera, basically you're going to find something called the exposure compensation or EV. And it has a little plus minus and you're going to you're going to overexpose by about two stops. So you're just going to click two up and you'll have white snow. That'll get me white snow. That'll get you white snow. You know, a lot of times we're out and it's bright blue sky and then you're going to have great white snow, no problem. But when you have clouds like this, uh, I, I really in, encourage you to play around with different sky uh, conditions because you'll get different moods and emotions to your pictures. Um, so if you want moodier pictures, look for clouds. Uh, if you want happy, sunshiny pictures, wait till it's blue sky. Do you have a third tip for real experts who, who really want to, the secret sauce to, to getting good shots in white snow? I'm actually going to say it doesn't matter whether you're an expert or a novice. If you're not having fun, put the camera down. So many people live through their camera and they forget to actually enjoy where they are. So if you're not enjoying playing around with the camera and making those exposures, put it down. Want to see more of Camille's photos? Check out her new book about the endangered polar regions or watch our feature story about her trip to Alaska on The National.